Welcome everybody to my channel and thank you for your continuous support. In this part we will talk about creating the white water which include the spray, the foam and the bubble beneath the surface and preparing the shader of Arnold and rendering it with Arnold. So let's have another look. And I'm using HDRI image. In the previous tutorial we talked about how we created the flip fluid and making it interact with the rigid body and making it float by the force of the flip fluid itself so it's floating up as you can see here so let's dive in wingfox is an online learning platform with excellent tutorial and it's a leading platform for artists to keep on growing and sharing and contacting and inspiring it contains cg vfx game art and graphic design and animation and plenty of marvelous tutorial a lot of excellent tutorials and houdini has its own share with a lot of excellent tutorial and today i will tell you about comprehensive guide for filmmaking with houdini and unreal engine 5. this is a very excellent tutorial that combined the new unreal engine 5 and houdini and how we can export from Houdini to Unreal Engine 5. This course, they will talk about how set up to set up the Unreal project and the folder structure. We'll talk about the RBD uh, destruction and how to export it as, as FBX to Unreal Engine. Talking about the material, lighting, and the pyro set up as a flip book and send it uh, to Unreal Engine. Also, they will talk about the atmosphere, how to set up the lighting there. Also, some procedural modeling for the log development and uh, how to import all of the asset and material to the to unreal engine and a lot many many more and it's very detailed and comprehensive and it's done by godo bonzani a senior vfx technical artist and it is very comprehensive guide for filmmaking for especially unreal engine 5 and houdini you can find the link down below in the description and you will see the coupon for the discount and now it's with 59 dollar and with the discount it will go down even 15 percent off so hop in there and have a look so we'll continue from where we stopped but just a quick refresher this is the geometry and this is the cup that we brought and created the geometry for the uh, collision and the source for the flip and we run the simulation after that we added which we are talking about now we want to add the white water so the object merge will be from the flip fluid inboard after the simulation I took an all of the compressed cache this one and this is a, a narrow band from there I uh, we added a white water source and I activated the source particle and visualization and I kept the setting as default so let's have a run so according to the visualization red is the curvature and green is the acceleration and the vorticity is in blue so these are the area that will uh, be sourcing for the white water after that in the white sulfur the white water source we have a white water object and I have a white water source that I added as that attribute so I will have bubble spray and air and uh, foam I kept everything near to the default only erosion I enabled it so I'll have more gaps in the foam I added also the rigid body and the static body so let's just do the static also so it's here so this will play a part also in pushing away the spray 
or the, the, the foam will surface on top of the uh, area of fluid so it will be surrounding or in, uh, encapsulating the ice cubes after we finish the simulation we import it and I cache it so let's have a look in the attribute triangle I put the red for the spray the green for the foam and the blue for the bubble so this is how it look I will run the flip book and see you in a minute so as you can see in the flip book this is the result of the white water simulation here the blue is where the bubble will form beneath the surface the green is where the foam will be uh, accumulated and as you can see there is a gap because we put the uh, I forget what it's called erosion or something and the red one is the spray so for the foam what I did after the attribute as you can see here I have bubble foam and spray so I'm interested now only in the foam so I'm isolating the foam whatever above point one foam to delete only keep the foam so I ended up with the foam you can increase it if you want and you have more precise area okay after that I run it through the default setup that will come with the white water for the density and the fading and the depth and it being rasterized as a volume as you can see and after that I render this one alone let's go to the last frame so this is where the separation is happening and the spaces and the gaps so let's go to the spray so as we said here we have the colors now I'm interested in the red the spray and the blue the bubble so I'm isolating the foam deleting it out and I'm keeping only the spray and bubble Let's go to the first frame go up and I'm importing it them here because for them I will render them as solid points not a volume So for Arnold, for the pop, I went to the Arnold, shape, points, and I'm rendering them as a sphere, the point scale of 0.5. Only this one I changed and I applied the material here. So now we go to the material tab. This is the automatic uh, basic leak with uniform volume and white water that's been created by the shelf tool. But, uh, what I created in Arnold is very simple. For the box, the ice cube boxes, I created uh, a base material with some specularity and transmission and some depth, so they are not completely transparent. Grid test another material with some color and uh, very high roughness for the specularity. For the glass, I started with the glass say, uh, preset and the IOR I make it the same 1.52 and 
the water is 1.33 this one I was happy with some transmission I didn't add depth and uh, no code for the fluid at the top because it's water so there is no base no uh, no no diffuse color it's clear they make it up and roughness of zero the IOR is 1.33 transmission also high depth of 30 because this is according to the scene uh, scale so 30 was a little bit enough and I added some codes so to extra to add extra shining shininess with roughness of zero so it's very shine and it's the same as the specularity no thin film sheen of one also and the obesity I kept it one for the white water the white water this is for the uh, foam foam so for the foam so it's a standard volume I keep the density of three and it's connected to the density and for the transparency I'm using the alpha that's being already automatically created for us and no emission there should be none for the particle I use a standard surface the surface of white water of white color with some metalness for shining and some specularity with roughness of this one and high uh, index of refraction transmission of one and little bit of depth no coat and no emission but I'm uh, taking advantage of the life attribute of the particle that's being automatically created by the white water uh, solver so when they uh, when they start they will be very uh, obesity will be one so you can see them when the life go up the obesity will decrease to zero with this ramp and connecting it to the obesity and then for the output I'm using uh, two cameras as you saw in the preview the first camera and second camera but I went down with the simulation with the rendering because my machine cannot hold I must bring a new machine new CPU increase my RAM and I need a new GPU so I need your support and uh, participation in, in the membership also that will be very great so I can be able to create more complicated and complex simulation so at the end this is the outcome as you can see this me stop it here I was running with high sitting but it was taking ages see but then and see, this is the foam this is the bubble and this is the spray will come out and you can see the transparency very nice reflection see? but the machine was dying it couldn't tolerate so I, I had to decrease the whole setting so it's less transparent as you can see not cool but it is what it is so if, if, if I have the budget I should upgrade my spec so it can uh, each each frame was taking like uh, uh, 10 minutes and too much freezing of the computer itself also so this is a cool frame thank you for watching and thank you for the continuous support have a nice day